Okay, in this video I want to talk about the uh, high, high tech Technic infrared sensor, which is here. I've got this plugged into port 1 of the NTX block. Um, now when you uh, start the NTX programming software, you'll find that if you look under uh, this uh, first option with the green tab, you won't be able to find uh, any infrared input. So if I go here sensor, you will not see any infrared sensor here. So what I had to do was, I went online, I typed in IR sensor, um, and you'll get to LEGO Mindstorm's uh, NTXG programming blocks. Click on that, and uh, so just for, just say this is hightechnic.com, and you just scroll down, this is the top here, it's got High Technic Enhanced IR Seeker. So you download and save that zip file and unpack it to your desktop, then when you go to uh, LEGO NTX, you go to the top tools, block import and export, and you browse for that file on your desktop. So just go desktop, and I've got NTX blocks, IR sensor, and just go OK. Once you hit OK, it'll find that file, and it'll put it into your, in, in this section here. So when you go to use it, you just go to the advanced ones, advanced options, and enhanced IR seeker. Right? And I've clicked that and actually I've added that to this um, uh, comparator block. And there really isn't anything you can ch uh, choose down here. Uh, there is actually a pull down menu if you add this separately to say here. You can actually see there is a um, pull down options. But I won't be using that right now. Uh, the pull down options are basically direction, uh, port number, degree direction, yes or no, and strength. So there's quite a lot of functions that you can use, but I'm not going to use those. Now I've got uh, basically uh, sense a signal or not. If it senses it, it um, makes a, a sound, and just keep repeating. So I've downloaded that program. Now if I go here and it's already and press run, now you'll just notice what happens as I walk around with this. As I face it towards the sun, it'll say hello. If I cover it up, it'll go off. It also can sense the uh, lights. So if I point it downwards, you can see it doesn't pick up anything. Point it back up again. Under this light here, you can see it sensing. Now if I walk over to my office, under the uh, desk lamp, you notice it won't pick up anything. So I'm thinking a good application for this IR sensor is maybe a, a, to assist a, in a solar tracking unit to track the sun for um, uh, energy, harnessing energy. Uh, that's all I want to talk about today.